Now, the second application that I want to show you is called QPlay DJ. Now, this is more of a traditional layout. Um, any DJ would um, get the hang of it pretty quickly. You double tap in the middle um, to get the EQ. Uh, you have the crossfader down here. Uh, I will warn you though, right now the crossfader has a little bug. Uh, it only reacts when you touch the absolute top part of it. If you touch the, the middle or the bottom, it won't react. And that creates a problem right now because if you sideswipe, uh, yeah, again, sideswipe, um, you get these uh, really nice effects. Uh, you have a delay, uh, you got the flanger, and you got the filter. Uh, and um, up here, uh, you have the, the master and volume for headphones if you want to split it. Now, I wouldn't recommend it uh, to anyone because it, it literally just splits the stereo signals into um, two mono. Um, nothing I would prefer or recommend for anyone. Now this application has my uh, favorite mp3 import function. Um, you download um, a software from their website and you just load your mp3s into it and it does all the BPM calculating, all the waveform, the peak points and whatever it's called. And then you just open up iTunes and drag and drop and it's imported uh, instantly as opposed to um, uh, the DJ Mixer 3 or the Touch DJ which I will show you later where you have to Im import one by one by one. It really takes a lot of time and uh, by the time it does the BPM calculating and the waveform uh, you've wasted about um, 30 seconds at least and you can't really play anything while it's doing that. So uh, these are things you want to do before you start mixing from the beginning. So anyway, I got a bunch of tracks here. Let me just uh, load one random up like this. Let's see if I can get some volume here. Now here I load a second track. It loads very nice and quick and just click here to, uh, to sync it up. If I want to study the waveform in detail, I rotate the, the device and I line up the cue like this. That looks good, so I turn it back this way. There you go. You've got a very responsive touch to this and uh, the only thing uh, that becomes a little bit frustrating is the side swiping. As you see, I side swiped over there and it, and it went upwards instead. Here you go up and down and up and down, actually down and up. But the side swipe thing, all the swiping makes it very difficult um, to stay where you want to be and honestly just not make any mistakes. So let me just double tap on this and rotate it like this again and uh, show you what makes uh, this application pretty unique. If you touch uh, this thing over here, you get one, two, three, four, five. These are hot cues. So if you double tap to zoom in, uh, I won't explain the whole procedure, but you can actually line up five different cue points. The problem is right now they're not very responsive, and they're not very fast, and there's a problem with the audio engine as well. When you hit start or when you hit a cue point, you get a a, a, a slight inconsistency in right at the beginning of the, the when you tap it. it. It starts with a slight jitter or a click, it's difficult to hear uh, like this, but when you're playing it pretty loud and you're looping something or you're doing cue points, you hear it uh, quite well and it's a little bit disturbing to be honest. 